Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 17 of Let's Play Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition. I am ready to go. Um, in the last episode, we pretty much cleared up as much as we could possibly do, it seems, in Fort Joy, other than just move on. So I think in today's episode, we're going to pick a path to uh, exit the fort. Um, and we're going to roll with it. So we have a few different options. Um, I don't think I'm going to get the black cat killed because I still think there's a story to that. I think you sacrifice the cat to get into the fort area like I showed in the last episode but there's probably another way to get in that doesn't sacrifice the cat maybe from the other uh, from the other side of it so what I'm thinking I'm going to head into that tunnel that Amiro I, th I think it was showed us and uh, head out because there's nothing much left to do it seems in uh, the fort itself, we've pretty much maxed it out. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to have some action, I'm sure. Uh, it seems there's, it seems like there's only one way out because I don't have the thievery for the other way, but let's go ahead and check our logbook. Uh, escape from Reaper's Eye. Other rebels in the order may help us. Some sorcerers have had magisters help in escaping the fort. Find the dissident magisters. We did not do that. Secret passage led to a dungeon below the fort. Escape through that dungeon. Blacksmith's asked the board to remove your source collar. Find someone to help you removing your source collar. All right, so we did not find the dissident magisters. Huh, so... Let's try to do that, I guess. Can I talk to this one without getting the cat killed? Enjoy your stay, snakey. Snakey. Okay. My cat is still alive, right? Yeah, come on. Cool. Like Dissident Magisters. I don't remember if I talked to these Magisters. Move along, eh? Don't want to get the Atusa treatment myself. Hmm. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. All right. And this guy is mean. Stay out of trouble now. I'm more than happy to lay down the law if you <coughs> try anything funny. But he's sick. So let's try something. Ask what more he knows about Bishop Alexander in Dallas. Bishop's the son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll get a new one, but Alexander's looking after us in the meantime all the same. And the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earned that name for a reason, she did. <coughs> Ask when you'll be allowed to leave this place. When you give up the darkness that's inside you. Take your fault, it's there, mine. But it's there all the same. They're working on a cure for you even now. Got some good leads, so I hear. <coughs> you can trust Dallas to take care of it. And once you're cured, your life will start again. Ask how he came to be a guard here. In the time of Lucian, of course. Who wouldn't join up with God himself? It was all glory, all goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. Wonder aloud if the Divine would really would have approved a place like Fort Joy. Lucian gave his life to protect Rivalon. If we let the Void Woken get to it now... Well, we'd have lost him for nothing. Fort Joy ain't no summer camp. <coughs> no one said it were. 
but it's the best we've got to protect the realm. Ask him how he can know the will of the divine. Can't for certain, but I reckon when God himself gives his life to protect you, you don't <laughs> waste the gift. You protect it with everything you've got. So that's what we do. Take your leave. All right. It's time to accept reality. I don't know much exactly. about what's going on with these two. Let me come up here and talk to this magister. Magister Yarrow. Oh, Yarrow is familiar. Did we ever talk to her? That's interesting. Don't disturb me again unless you've seen me go. Migo, yes. Ask why she's looking for him. None of your business, inmate. Find me if you hear of a Migo. Otherwise, don't waste my time. Okay. Don't disturb me again unless you've seen Migo. Recall the madman you met on the beach and say you may have seen him. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? Describe where you met him, but caution her to be careful. There was something terribly wrong with him. And you're... You're very sure it was him. Hand her his ring as proof. She inspects the ring closely. You've earned the hero tag. Specific hero options will be available to you from now on. This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... This simply can't be. Did she take my ring? She did. She took the ring. Huh. Oh, well. Well, that was interesting. She's going to check Migo. This is where we had a pretty epic battle. Bodies are still here. Brother Byer, we didn't check him with, uh... Beast in the party. Beast's jaws might be sewn shut with fishing wire, so harshly do they clench at the sight of Beast. He speaks one clipped, precise syllable. Son. Challenge the priest. Has Beast offended him in some way? I'm not offended by the Beast. No matter how foul that name feels to my lips, just disappointed. He turns his attention to Beast himself, whose face looks oddly blank given his usual rambunctious demeanor. Did you think your merry band could try to toss Justinia into the sea and the clouds would turn to rainbows? A storm of your making still rages, and whenever word of your deeds reaches her ears, lightning strikes. Mm. When your flunkies scream for revolution, <clears throat> I know what they're really screaming for, beast. And I know it's dwarven blood being shed. Someone had to stand up to Justinia. Not all of us are like you religious types. You fold up your hands and pray. Like that's going to feed the hungry and bathe the young. I'm not given to prayer. I just get things done. I would sooner implore Duna to intervene than to leave behind a trail of crimson limbs for the innocent to clean away. The priest collects himself. His eyes still burn, but his words are ice. May the seven bless you, beast. Mm. All right, let's head back to the beach because Migo was down there. We talked to Laszlor. Yarrow could be a dissident priest. Dissident magister, dissident priest. Listen to me. So yeah, and I was thinking of taking this tunnel out once I've made sure that, you know, like I said, we've explored everything. This, this dissident magister thing I didn't catch the first time I looked at the quest journal. So we're going to check this out. Darling? Yarrow girl? It was her, wasn't it? The monster. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am, here you are. 
Here we are. Oh, is that... Is that really you? Little Yarrow girl. Grown up, flower-headed girl. <laughs> what have they done? Frown, that beast is her father. Beast? Watch your mouth, inmate. You're in the presence of an honorable man. Hero, say whoever did this should be brought to justice. Ha! I'd die a thousand deaths before I'd see this go unpunished. Say that you're glad they found each other again, even under these circumstances. She looks at her father and manages a small smile. As am I. Ask if she's ever seen this kind of magic before. It seems though her father has suffered some kind of strange treatment. It's strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Dallas keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks. She reaches out to touch her father's hand. He withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to Yarrow again. Oh. I had no idea. What a fool I am. Ask if she knows who's responsible for this. There were always rumors about the hammer. Dallas, that is. What she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress. Why they never joined the rank and file thereafter. I suppose. I suppose now I know. Take your leave. Well, before you go, you've helped us a great deal today. Let me help you too. I have a little gold on me and take this key. I'll show you where you can use it. It opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place. It isn't too late for you. Not yet. Huh. Choose your reward. What's happened? Water arrow. What have they done to you? 24 gold. Two-hander. Skull girl. Skullcap. The monster. Mage's pants. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am. Here you are. Let's get the skull cap, I guess. <laughs> What's happened? I didn't get the ring back, right? Fine key, bright as a new penny, marked with the emblem of the Magisters. Yeah, let's get that bucket off the head. The monster. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am. Here you are. And I don't want to put the bucket on anybody's head. It reduces their initiative. Um, the children's gloves. What have they done to you? Could go to you. Yarrow girl. Can I talk to Beast? Is that little Yarrow? What have they done? Done that already. Uh, okay, so she said she'll show me where the key can be used. To the fort. I guess that's the location. Path of greatest resistance. Wasn't it? The monster. Don't think of the ugly now. Here I am. Here you are. Here we are. Give us the key to the fort. To the arena. Cavern entrance. I guess she gave us that fort key. But, but how do we use it? I take it it just opens this gate here. I could try to just walk right in. Quick save here and just walk right in. Sound like keep your hands where I can see. One of them cross your path. Do any of us here?
No, it's locked. She said she'd show us where she can where we can use it. But I'm not seeing that on the map. Is it underneath the fort? Through the button we pressed on the statue? Let me see if I can bring up the map again and see if there's some indication. The Bora. Quest marker, Nabora. Why doesn't that show me on the map, though? She gave me a key to the fort that. Let's try going in the underground. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's see if this gate opens. Where is it? Would be nice if this one opened. I don't see it as marked as anything on my map, though. Beat it down. Let's have Beast batter it. No, probably better with Lo Lozeron to smack it. We'll lock the door down. I can probably fire breath it and stuff, but yeah, let's go ahead and fire breath it. All I did was take damage myself, didn't I? Who am I burning? Oh, black cat. Sorry about that, kitty. Bedroll. Somebody put the cat out. Burning for one more turn. Sorry, kitty. I did not see you there. You're kind of in my way. Knock this dang door down. I didn't think of that. Got it. It's a quick save. Okay, new territory. Holding cells. Who are you? You've got a good reason for barging it in your private room, buddy. Tell him his cell was unlocked. And? Got no reason to scramble out, mate. It's hot and busy out there. Cool and quiet in here, or at least it used to be. Uh, let's see if anybody can use the foul trousers. Not really. Okay. Pretty sharp piece of metal. If you can make sure you didn't cut yourself handling it, it would make for a nifty weapon. Let's grab the sharp piece of metal in the long branch. It's only four. Oh, four for him because he's got barter. So we'll take it. Um, tell him you're looking for a way out. Does he know of anything? Ow! You must be mad. Head out one way, you're back in the joy among the rabble. Head out another, you're knee-deep in the hollow marshes. I'll take a nice, quiet cell any day of the week, and twice on Lucian's day. Take your leave. Where you go? You haven't met a particular fella here, have you? Tall, black beard, intense way of looking at you. Punch up for metaphor? Mm, tell them no, you haven't come across anyone like that. Good, good. 
Gord. Half of me's afraid he's gonna try and save me from this place. Oh, Zillick much prefers lounging in the hole and chasing demons hither and thither. I'll tell you now. Not in any hurry to get back to the hunt. Anyhow, thanks and good luck, I guess. Though, if you know what's what, you'll take a load off and let the dice fall where they're gonna fall. Okay, Zillick. I could talk to that mouse. If we can pick the lock. Unlocked. Ooh. Crafty weaponry, wands and stabs. Bucket and lock picks. Now come here, Mr. Ratty. Eddie. The rat glances nervously at your teeth. Hi, friends. You're here for the pointy lock undoer, right? Not not lunch. Smile, that's right. Oh good. That's for you then. Bye bye, flea scratcher my bob. <laughs> Another lockpick. Ask the little rat if she can tell you anything about this place. This place? Well, hum. The flea seem very happy, at the very least. Take your leave. Um, anything else in here, maybe? Okay. Hmm. Bosnia. Bosnia. Wits persuasion. Hush her and tell her you're here to get her out of Fort Joy. Persuasion failure. Success impossible. What? No. No. I won't go. I won't go. God. God. Beg her to be quiet. You can't silence me. God. God. Come quickly. There's a sorcerer in my cell. He's unlocked the door. God. Why isn't anyone coming? I be good. I be good. Hmm. You'll see. They'll get their hands on you and then... Any minute now they'll come. Any minute. I'm sure they're almost here. I'm right. You'll see. Kind of scaring me, to be honest, if the guards do come. Virtus. I don't know how many lockpicks I have. I could just be attacking these doors. But, I don't know. The elf's skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts with inscrutable emotion. Joy, horror, and rapture flash over him like the changing surface of a pond. Hmm. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you! Look at him more closely, trying to remember if you've met before. He spasms suddenly. They're eating holes in my mind. They're making tunnels. This is how she makes them. Uh, this is how she does it. But you... A single tear rolls down his cheek. I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. I'm done for, but you... You... There's still hope. Ask him what he means. You'll know. They'll find you. They'll seek you out. That's their job. Get it? Yes. Yes, of course you do. You need to go. Dallas, after she took me, she did something. My head. I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. Tell him you're going to get him out of here. Oh, love, I'm wrecked. Can't go. Couldn't move my feet. It's likely to stab you in the neck and shake your hand. He giggles coquettishly, then bellows like a bear. <laughs> Leave! Hmm. Ah, 
that. Chair. Um, ooh. Saving. Evidence chest. Sorcerer! What do you think you're doing prowling around inside the fort? Suggest a deal. He lets you walk and you won't tell anyone what you witnessed here. Ha! And what is it you think you saw? Shrug, if he forgets he saw you, you didn't see anything at all. Go on. Get an eyeful. That's the least of what happens to traitors. Traitors and sorcerers. He looks you up and down. Don't have my hounds or make much of lizard meat. Even dogs have standards. <laughs> oh, we're fighting? I thought he was going to let me go. Uh, there's three of them. Magister Houndmaster. I don't think we can. Magister Ranger and Magister Swordsman. I don't think there's any way we can handle this. Um. One. Two. Three. Yeah, that ain't gonna get it done. Um, come over here and well, wait a minute. Not enough AP to reach destination. Okay, in turn. What's he doing? Summon source out on the ground. Oh dear. Ugh. Yeah, this battle's like impossible, bro. We have no chance. I done went too far. Trying to get into that skeleton room, it ran me down to where the sorcerer is. Or to where the magister is. I, I went too far. There's no way we have to cleave through three, sor three magisters and a source hound. Ugh. Oh, we didn't even open this door yet. How many lockpicks do we have? Three. Let me just attack this door. Petrify the door. Oh, my weapon is damaging. Oh. Where's the, uh... Repair. I don't have a repair hammer. Durability 5 out of 20. Oh, snap. Uh, pick the lock. Let's go through this again just to go through it. against the void woke I ought to feed you to my hound for this treachery all right let's come in here go through this again the elf skin is his eyes it's you he spasm yeah. a single not the last you'll know yeah. oh he giggles <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't go down that hall. I guess I can't. Yeah, I can't get in here unless I go down that way. So, our only logical move then is to come up and check this steel banded chest I didn't even know was there. Ah, uh, nothing. Is to F5 and 
head up this way, I guess. And hope that this won't be a total bust. Looks like there could be a secret wall here. Oh, I hear whipping and stuff. Do I have the key? No, oh, dang. Where does this even go? Muffled sounds suggest that this scuffed old door leads up to the fort's main floor. It's bound to be crawling with magisters. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea. The better. I could do with a bit more sport before we're done with these idiots. The more the merrier. It's been too long since my last bloodbath. Good. Let them try to catch us. <sighs> Here we go. Fort Joy Prison. Silent Monk. Coffins. Door with Source Hounds. There's Emmy. Let's just see what happens when we come down to this Silent Monk. Skull. Last poor soul. Better that you weren't acquainted or something. Hmm. Silent monk is silent. Simple rhyme. Used to read to learn about crafting. Hello. The creature's breath quickens as you approach, and it shrinks slightly, as though it expects you to strike it. No. Oh. Hmm. The creature before you stares with sightless eyes and leans from side to side like a puppet without strings. Looks so unhappy. I wish there was something I could do. I thought I'd seen the worst that life can offer. I was wrong. That's unnatural, abhorrent, evil. I... I can't take my eyes off it. Ain't this creature's fault someone stole its mind? Poor thing. Hmm. The creature's breath quickens as you... Oh. Silent monk. Huh. Lots of ways to go. Let's see if we can free Emmy. Red. Really need to repair my weapon. Five gold. Hello. Hmm. All sorts of stuff going on. Uh. You intruder, bandy, sorcerer, stop, go, die. Went at the hound called Emmy and asked if she knows an old dog named Buddy. Buddy? Emmy, fall back. Sorcerer, tricks. Buddy, intruder. Bruno, Buddy, Buddy, my, my mate. Tell her Buddy misses her very, very much. Buddy? Still ask her if she wants to get out of here. Oh, 
up. No, I got it. I I made the wrong choice. I should have asked her if she wants to get out of there. Not that Buddy misses her very, very much. He has a lot of XP, though. But I want to try to reacquaint her with Buddy. This game has some emotional things in it that, you know, are really quite charming and... and you know, well done. Right. Just dust bunny. You intruder. Emmy. Bruno. Bunny. Ask if she wants you to get her out of here. Leave. I don't think. I don't think I can. The masters are straight. I can hardly remember. What it used to be like. Emmy, no! Sorcerer, bad! Say it! Masters, hunt! Family! But. Bruno! Buddy! Mate! My mate! My best friend! Oh. No! Sorcerer, stop! Emmy! Me! Alpha! Attack! Mm hmm. 400 XP. Um, this can't be it. Don't tell me that's closed. We couldn't help Buddy's friend Emmy. Oh, I have to say, Buddy misses her very much. Wait, yeah. Oh, so they can't be reunited, though. Wonder how long I've been playing. I've got to have been playing for like 55 minutes right now. I'm going to have to save and cut this off as an episode. Let's check. Uh, 37 minutes only. Hmm. All right, so I can at least go through this again and get the proper ending. Emmy, Bruno, buddy. Emmy, no. You. Finding Emmy. Kill, kill. Um, let's come on in. Grab a bucket. Bloody leg. All unidentified flesh, a mysterious chunk of flesh. This could be anything or anybody. All bucket, bloody leg. I don't know what we can do with this stuff, but it's got to be something. I have too much to carry. All right, beast. This is where you come in, my man. Gotta carry the flesh, my man. Uh, what else is heavy? My tummy hurts. Die. Kill. Kill. Okay, I think we're good now. Just dust bunny. I wonder if I talk to any of the others if they're going to attack me. Argos. Argos is a good dog. Huh. Dog, 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 dog. Huh. Right. Just dust bunny. <clears throat> Emmy, sad. Bad sorcerer. Maybe we don't need all the buckets, but they're worth, you know, one or whatever. Scratch, bite, bark, kill. <laughs> okay. Um. Quick save and head through here, I guess. Eight hundred XP. 
XP. Ooh. All sorts of stuff. Um, birdie. A dog is quietly curled in the corner of the cage, seemingly trying to make itself as small as possible. Oh. Please don't hurt me. Get down on your haunches and say you're here to help, not hurt. But, but, but I might hurt you. You smell like like what they feed me. They changed me. They made me want to hurt people. Offer the dog your hand and say it isn't his fault. He's been caught by horrible people just like you have. A low growl. The dog starts to salivate and lick his chops. His eyes go hard and cold. Suddenly, he seems to remember himself and whines. They did something to me. They made me want to hurt people. People who smell like you. I don't want to hurt anyone. Tell the dog you're getting him out of here. I'm afraid. If I leave, I might hurt someone. If I stay, they'll make me into one of their monsters. I'm... I'm better off dead. Huh. What? Uh, greasy cat. Nothing special. That's it. I have to check it. Elaborate cage key. Uh, rope. A small, elaborately wrought key found in the Houndmaster's quarters. Oh yes, he's got plentiful. Oranges, cultivated and exported from the equator by expert lizard horticulturists. Um, book, used to read. Taddy book. Journal. Hubert's Encyclopedia, Volume 23, Elves, one volume of Cranley Hubert's extensive encyclopedia series, Volume 17, Metamorphosis. I'll do some inventory uh, management in a bit here, or in the next episode. Let's go ahead and read the book. Son Against Father, Death in the Elflands, a dramatic retelling of true events. Lucy and the Divine and his adopted son Damien stand square-shouldered before each other, alike not in visage but in determination. Damien, and what have you been to me these years? Lucian, I am your father. It was I who saved you. I who loved you. Damien, love? You denied me everything. I am. My true nature. The woman I loved. You would have seen me clean-cheeked, clinging, castrated if it meant I'd cause you no trouble. I am no Alexander. Lucian, my boy, your words bite into me and vipers. Please, say no more. Damien, you made me silent all my life. I'll stay silent no more. Taddy Book. This book is pasted full of clippings from pamphlets and circulars, a collage of recent events. Danger done. Divine duels Damien and death deals death to dark dealers. Hear ye. We mourn our fallen father, the divine Lucian. He sacrificed himself in the war against the ring. Lucian's day to be rededicated. Who will rise to take the divine's place? Elven refugees storm villages, homeland uninhabitable, cannibals unwelcome, peat moss pie, from Grand's childhood to your table. This can't be it. Journal. Logbook. Magister Geraldine Riddler. Ritter. Day 230. Lucian leading charge to front, heading toward Elflands. Next day, Lucian parlayed with Damien. No peace for father and son. Next day, had no idea about death fog. Everything dead, everything. Black ring, but Lucian too. What? Next day, returning to Arx, I guess we won. With the defeat of the Black Ring, people thought peace had finally come, but then the Void Woken started appearing. So we're getting some background information, that's good. Um, does anybody need a greasy cat? Yes, actually. Um, whose armor is worse? Where's the armor? Uh, yours is worse, but you're actually in melee more, so let's give it to you. Oh, Fancy. Um, Son Against Father, Scrapbook, Magister Ritter's Logbook. Let's read Volume 23 of the Encyclopedia on Elves. In outlining the physiology, and to him at least, mysterious culture of the Elven peoples, Hubert expresses admiration and fascination. But while he's careful to note the enormity of the suffering visited upon the Elves at the culmination of the last great war, 
His text smacks more of self-congratulation than of any real empathy. And metamorphosis? All may not be as it seems. The ability to change from one form to another has been the stuff of myth and legend for as long as people have told stories. While he does not rush to judgment for Cranley Hubert, the idea seems potentially heretical. He does, however, seem deeply fixated on the possibility that a man, and it may be noted that Hubert is indeed a man, may spend time as a chicken. Okay, and uh, yeah, we're going to have to make some space here. These logs are heavy. Uh, buckets of water. This can't be it. Um. Yeah, we have some other books to read. Muddy mittens. Stained pants he can carry. Hello. Red bear pants. Sharp stone on a stick he can carry. Um, slug's axe. 5% critical chance. Um, improvised staff he can carry. Hello? We have to sell some of this stuff for sure. Uh, resurrection scroll. Empty cup. It runneth not over. Medicinal Uses of True Danae. The book is dog-eared to a chapter called Ailments of the Stomach. Coarse hound's hairs are stuck between its pages. Hmm. And Houndmaster's Crossbow. Whoa. Minus one movement, but it sets slowed for two turns. 20% chance to succeed and plus 5% accuracy. The Houndmaster's Crossbow used by him to fire bloody chunks of meat for his curves to fetch. It reeks of wet dog and rotten flesh, but it's functional. It is nice. Um, oh, so Beale was picking this stuff up? Well, she can. But go ahead and give that to Ifon. Well, that's a big upgrade for Ifon. Big upgrade. His damage is 20 to 21 with that baby. This can't be it. Um, can I use Trudene to help the dog, I wonder? Jug. Useless. But I picked it up anyway. Uh, let's quickly see before I end this episode the medicinal uses of Trudene. Especially when given the given food is highly unpalatable. If the patient must be convinced to partake of the food, a sprinkling of Trudene will transform the fare from repulsive in the mind of the patient to highly savory. A looping hand has circled the word repulsive and written sorcerer beneath it. Hmm. All right, guys, I got to save here. Uh, very interesting stuff. Really cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed and that you're enjoying this series. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Uh, much love, peace, and joy, guys. And next time, we'll explore more of the Fort Joy Prison. So long.